What's up, we're up. It's your boy Arkansas, aka DJ Trap Guard, man. I'm coming to you with this virtual DJ tutorial for all those who like to use virtual DJ. You know what I mean? I'm going to show you a way to uh, chop it up and not slap it up. You know what I'm saying? So uh, let's get down to it. All right, I loaded up two separate tracks on each deck, which you can see here. Hopefully, you can see here and here. So what you want to do, let's go ahead and play your track. Just so you can get your tempo. Just so you know how fast your song is going. But the key is, not only slowing it down, you have to change the tone of it. Understand it? Always change the tone. So listen to the song. Go over to your key. Slow it down just a bit. You hear it change? But listen. You see how the voices change? No, you don't. So don't agree with me and say yes. What you do, you see this over here? I hope you can see that. It says key. Change the key. That's what it is. The key is the key. You feel me? <laughs> Turn it down just a little bit. Sound more screwed, don't it? More is bond. That's not all you do. You go over here where it says effects. Make sure. Deck one is highlighted because you're using deck one. Go over here and click four. Make sure originally it's gonna have this design. But you're gonna take this first one and put it down here. You're gonna take this first one and put it down here. And the reason for that is to seamlessly do your chop as per clicked it. None of that back and forth that people do tell you how to chop it up. Uh, this is a whole lot simpler way to do it. So let me start you here in the middle of the song. We'd already clicked that there. Hit your play and start to chop. You see how it's on cue per click? You can also do it here too as well. And you know you have your sirens. Your effects. And basically, that's it. I've got another. I know you noticed my other track here, and that's for slower songs. As you can tell, let me slide this over to the side. One of my favorite songs, Ritz, Switch Lanes, featuring Mike Posner. See how fast it is, so go back to your beginning. And in my next video I'll do, I'll show you how to do the hot cues and run it back with your, not your grid, but your back spins and your brakes. Because you always, have, there's no screw without a, a back spin or a brake, you know what I mean? If you know what you're doing, you'll put it in the right, it'll be beautiful. So, once again, it doesn't matter what tempo the song is, you play it, turn it down, work the key, go to your fix. The key is you need to have, well, like I said, the key is the key. You don't have the key at the right angle, and 
you don't have your key or your song slowed down at the right even amount, I mean, if you have producer ear, you'll hear it. If you don't have it together, it won't come back right. I'll say that again. If you don't have your key and your speed above your pitch, your speed evenly by sound, your effect, your beat grid right over here will not chop properly. I always remember to take that one down. Click four, take it down. And I appreciate y'all rocking with me on this first tutorial that I've ever done in my life. Comment below. Holla at your boy. Tell me what you think.